What is going on everyone? Welcome to part 23 of our Matplotlib tutorial series. In this part, what we're going to be talking about is a couple of things. One, we'll continue on what we were talking about before with the pruning. So we're going to prune the, this x or y axis, this y axis, and then we're going to talk about a new concept, uh, which is share sharing axes. So we'll share the y axis because at the moment, first of all, you don't know it yet. <laughs> now you do. Uh, these these are not aligned, right? This is on a different timeline than this is and this is. So, and especially this becomes uh, true when we zoom into a specific point on this axis, but the other points aren't zoomed in. So we're gonna handle for that. And then we're also gonna finish up pruning here. So let's do the pruning first. So this is where we were pruning the Y axis on AX1. Let's copy that. And we're gonna come down to AX2 here, paste. And for this one, we could have more uh, than five. So let's do like, I don't know, seven. It's a bigger chart. And then we'll prune the upper uh, from AX2. And then uh, we'll copy this, copy, come down to AX3 stuff. We'll come right here, paste, AX3, number of bins, five. And we definitely want to prune the upper on this one. So let's run that real quick and see how clean this looks, if it's looking good at the point at the moment. Pretty good. Uh, we might want to change the bins though, like maybe on the, the top and the bottom one. Instead of five, let's do four. And four. Let's save and run that one. Yeah, okay, that looks a little better. So we'll go ahead and, and, and stick with that for now. Uh, so now we want to talk about sharing X axes. So the way that we share an X axis is actually pretty simple All we have to do is we come up to where we're defining our plots And it really doesn't matter which one we share the axes with but it just kind of makes sense that since we're defining them in one two three order We have ax2 share the X axis with ax1 and we have ax3 share the X axis with again ax1 So the way that we share X axes is just with the share X and then share X will equal the axes that you want to share. So this would be AX1. And then we do the exact same thing. Copy that, paste to AX3. So now everyone's sharing the X axes together. And we can really get a feel for this by now let's save and run. And we can see what is different now. So loading this up now, they're together. And the first thing that you should notice is that... Um, the moving average starts over here rather than all the way over to the left and that's because of that start point stuff so now though if we zoom into a specific spot like here everything zooms in together right so no longer are we only zooming into one graph at a time we zoom into all graphs at a time when we zoom in and now the dates are all aligned as we really need them to be okay so the thing that I would change at this point, especially if, say, for example, let's close these instead of one year, let's say we were doing a time frame of maybe six months. This should be even more pronounced. I'll save and run that. And yeah, it looks a little more pronounced uh, where, you know, the moving average is just starting way later than everything else. So what if we wanted to trim everything else? Well, you can and you should do that. I'm going to change this back to one year just because I like the more data, but um, the way that we can handle for that is now that we have we have this start point right that's defined uh, up here okay so we apply that minus start colon basically to everyone okay so that was ax3 gets it but we can apply that uh, start point really to everyone so ax1 where we're plotting date and high minus low minus start colon minus start colon then when we go to do the candlestick we're plotting on AX2, the open, high, low, close of minus start colon. And then uh, getting to AX3, we've already done it. So now let's go ahead and save and run that. And now everything's lined up, right? We don't have this issue anymore of, you know, charts starting at different points, basically, because that was kind of silly. Now, um, I think that's all I want to do in this one. Sharing the X axes is a pretty common uh common question so I kind of wanted to have that be mainly what this tutorial was about but with that you can share the x-axis also that's not a you know uh, that's not a function that's only applicable to the subplot to grid so if you're following along with the other add subplot kind of uh, syntax 
Uh, this should work just fine uh, for you as well. I'm trying to get to her defining. Yeah, right here. There we go. Uh, so if you're following, if you're following along doing the add subplot stuff, this should the share X should still work, uh, no problem. Now, uh, as we move on, what we're going to talk about next is we still have one data set that is not covered yet, yet is also on like a lot of stock plots, and that's volume. And with volume, what I'm going to show you guys is how we can have multiple y axes so we've shown you guys how to have multiple subplots how to share an x axis but what about how do you almost sort of share the same figure with another graph only have like double y axis so it's a way to plot two different series that are on totally different uh scales right so stock price is in you know 50s but stock volume might be in the millions or the hundreds of thousands a day so that's what we're going to talk about in the next tutorial is how we can have a double y axis, share the x axis, which is date, but plot another bit of data on the same chart. So that's what we're going to talk about in the next tutorial. If you have questions, comments, concerns, whatever up to this point, please do feel free to leave them below. Otherwise, as always, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support and the subscriptions. And until the next video.